I smoke ganja all the time. Roll up a spliff, I'll bust a rhyme. Give me a dime, I bet I'll bust one for you. I was born a life of crime. I don't kill kids, but a snitch is fine. Step out of line, I bet I'll bust one through you. I don't give a fuck, the world is mine. And all the girls are mine to grind. Yellow or pink, ugly or fine, I'll do ya. I will do ya. I will do ya. I will do ya. I will do ya. I just want everybody to know that this is just for the camera, really, you know what I'm saying? It ain't. I don't like ugly girls. I can't sell it for less, man. You crazy? Bullshit. Me? <laughs> fuck no. You don't see that you mind. Where? Not fuck with me. Ugly who? Give yeah, up. Fuck that. <laughs> What? No, boy. Yeah. But you know why I really, why I really just don't like ugly girls? No, I... Because, you know, sometimes bad things happen. Maybe, you know, like, you know, condom break. That's the worst thing. So you lay the condom because you're saying that you don't want her to get pregnant. After her period, you know, around the time when they start ovulating and supposed for them to get pregnant. Condom break. And you coming. Now she pregnant. Nine months later, you end up with a fucking gargoyle. Well, a predator looking at the child because she ugly as fuck. Now, if she get pregnant, she gonna tell everybody she pregnant. Besides the time to tell people this, I can't afford to have no ugly churns. You know, ugly churns have it rough. And I've seen pretty girls in big houses and they dumb as fuck. They didn't even need to go to school just because they look good. Some nigga with some cash just come up on them and say, hey baby, I like you. You know, I live in my big house and drive a few of my bands and sure. So, I'd rather have a pretty child who has a better chance in society. And have an ugly child to be looked down upon all through their life. I ain't got no money in my nose, but when should we be expecting your mixtape? <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah man, well you know this moment. <laughs> Sometime around February, maybe February 20th of my birthday, you know, we're gonna have that. We're gonna drop that album, we're gonna have an album yeah. release. What kind party. of music should we be expecting? Well, you know, you know, we, should, we got some love music in there, really some love hate music because all you know, all the love songs is based on some hate shit. No, not all love yeah. songs, but my songs are based on some shit that went fucking terribly wrong in my life for a moment. And I got one or two reggae songs, you know what I'm saying? They, they kind of, one kind of reggae is like this. You know what I'm saying? But when, I, don't, I ain't trying to be no reggae artist. I guess you need to be real, real hype for that. I'm not that kind of hype guy. You know? But I got some nice, slow, I want to call that slow, cultural dub songs, you know, like that. You know, some easy listening to shit. Some shit you ain't never heard before. You know, some cool, cool, smooth shit. And you don't feel like hearing none of that shit you're going to hear all over the radio. You could just pop in my mixtape. You could hear some shit that you could hear on my mixtape. You know, if you're going to sell everything, for like no dollars, you know, we ain't charging nobody for nothing because my cousin Tico say, if you did it for free, put everything out for free, you know what I'm saying, don't charge nobody a fucking dime, so we doing all of this because we don't have much to fucking do, so this is what the fuck we do, just straight bullshit and give it away for free, my life ain't that exciting, but it's good, you know, we happy. I smell ganja all the time, roll up a spliff, I'll bust a ride, give me a dime, I bet I'll bust one for you. I was born in a life of crime, I don't kill kids for a snitch, it's fine, step out of a line, I bet I'll bust one through you. I don't give a fuck the